Desert Storm Has It Ended? Christ in Islam by Ahmed Didat Chapter 7 In the Beginning Where does Jesus say, I am God, or I am equal to God, or worship me? I asked the DD from Canada again. Reverend Morris took a deep breath and took another try. He quoted the most oft repeated verse of the Christian Bible. John 1 1 In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Please note, these are not the words of Jesus. They are the words of John, or whoever wrote them, acknowledged by every erudite Christian scholar of the Bible as being the words of another Jew, Philo of Alexandria, who had written them even before John and Jesus were born, and Philo claimed no divine inspiration for them. No matter what mystical meaning Philo had woven around these words, which our John has plagiarized, we will accept them for what they are worth. Greek, not Hebrew Since the manuscripts of the 27 books of the New Testament are in Greek, a Christian sect has produced its own version and has even changed the name of this selection of 27 books to Christian Greek scriptures. I asked the reverend whether he knew Greek. Yes, he said. He had studied Greek for five years before qualification. I asked him what was the Greek word for God the first time it occurs in the quotation and the word was with God. He kept staring but didn't answer. So I said the word was hothios, which literally means the God. Since the European, including the North American, has evolved a system of using capital letters to start a proper noun and small letters for common nouns, we would accept his giving a capital G for God. In other words, Hothios is rendered the God, which in turn is rendered God. Now tell me, what is the Greek word for God in the second occurrence in your quotation, and the word was God? The reverend still kept silent. Not that he did not know Greek, or that he had lied, but he knew more than that. The game was up. I said, the word was Tonthios, which means a god. According to your own system of translating, you ought to have spelled this word, god, a second time with a small g, i.e. god, and not god with a capital G. In other words, tonthios is rendered a god. Both of these, god or a god, are correct. I told the reverend, but in 2 Corinthians 4.4 4, you have dishonestly reversed your system by using a small g when spelling god and the devil is the god of this world. The Greek word for the god is hothios, the same as in John 1.1. 1, 1. Why have you not been consistent in your translations? If Paul was inspired to write hothios, the god for the devil, why begrudge him that capital G? And in the Old Testament, the Lord said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a god to Pharaoh. Exodus 7.1 why do you use a small g for God when referring to Moses instead of a capital G as you do for a mere word, word, and the word was God? Why do you do this? Why do you play fast and loose with the word of God? I asked the reverend. He said, I didn't do it. I said, I know, but I am talking about the vested interests of Christianity who are hell-bent to deify Christ by using capital letters here and small letters there to deceive the unwary masses who think that every letter, every comma and full stop, and the capital and small letters were dictated by God.